Mystery Romance, starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall. Together in the sultry setting of tropical Havana and the mysterious islands of the Caribbean. Bold Venture. Once again, the magic names of Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall bring you Bold Venture and a tale of mystery and intrigue. In Shannon's place do many dwell, the pretty, the ugly, the high tone swell. They come to Havana to have some jolly sit around in the evening to discuss their follies. Right now this small hotel is graced by charming lady with handsome face and husband who get younger by the hour, thinking how he wife is pretty like a flower. Oh, isn't that lovely, Robert? Yes, Martha. Oh, you sing beautifully, King Moses. It's, um, I don't know, joyful, haunting. Thank you, Mrs. Palmer. You must be tired, Mrs. Palmer. All the sightseeing you've done today, you and your husband. Oh, Robert and I couldn't go to sleep now. We'll just go over there and sit in those handsome wicker chairs, discuss our follies, and watch. Watch the lights of Havana, the color. That's what we'll do, won't we, Robert? Just watch. Whatever you wish, Martha. Oh, I love you, Robert. Take my arm. You didn't mind those things I bought. Anything you do, Martha, it's all right. I hope you were paying attention, Slate. Lesson one in how a gent treats a lady. Yeah, look me up when you get to be like Mrs. Palmer. That could take years. That's what I said. You know something about those two? What? I'll bet when they check out, we won't find one towel missing. Yeah, not even the one I put in their rooms. The one you swiped from the Hotel Muncie. Well, don't look at me like that, Slate. I just did it to make them feel at home. My favorite towel, and you... Uh, Senorita, you may not be aware of it, but a large thrill has just entered into your lives. (laughs) Not tonight, Chico. We've got everything we need. Oh, you desolate me. Don't take it too hard, Chico. Here's a buck. Ah, uh, senorita. The minute I put my eyes on you, I say to myself in my mother's tongue, here is a queen. See how the news gets around, Slate? Please. I cannot take dollar and give nothing in return. They built me this way when I was a baby. Here, have a picture postcard and wear it in good health. Adios, you thrill me, people. <laughs> a buck for a tourist postcard, a color picture of a flossy tourist hotel. Oh, you've been taken, sailor. Good. It was my buck. I can... Hey, look at this slate. It's already been written on. It's addressed to you. Huh? You mean you can't even send it to the folks back home? It says, I need you, slate. Right now. Drop everything. Right now. Signed, Sam Meston. Sam Meston? What does he want with me? You won't go, will you, Slate? Not to help anyone like Meston. He said he needed me, didn't he? You coming, sailor? Sure. I love to help people like Sam Meston. They're so grateful they kick you in the teeth. Good night, Mr. and Mrs. Palmer. We have to go out. Slate's trying for a merit badge. You coming? You see, Robert, I told you it would work. It was so simple, really. You're very clever, Martha. Here's your coat, Robert. You'll need it in the chill night air. Hurry, Robert. We'll lose them if you don't hurry. Be careful, dear. There's a puddle of water. I see it. Well, walk around it. There. Think of it. 
Mr. Shannon will lead us straight to Sam Meston. Martha. One more killing, Robert, that's all. Then there'll be nothing else to worry about. Yeah, I suppose so. Don't hate yourself, dear. I couldn't stand it. Martha, please. After all, your first wife, Alice, was an old, tired woman. And wealthy. That has nothing to do with it. Oh, Mr. Shannon, Mr. Val, just turn that corner. We'd better hurry. Help me up the curb, dear. Martha. Martha, I, I have an idea. Oh? Tell me, Robert. Why can't we go back to Muncie before we do this thing, this killing? Forget all about it. And keep paying Mr. Meston all that money. He's so greedy, dear. Mr. Meston must be... Yes, yes, I, I suppose so. Well, it's the only way, Robert. And Mr. Shannon will lead him to us. Mr. Shannon knows everybody in Havana. That's why I had that funny little Cuban man deliver this note to him. I think we ought to go back to Muncie. Now, you listen to me, Robert. We killed your wife. Mr. Meston was hired by the insurance company to investigate her death. He found the gun I used, and he's held on to it. Blackmail. It has to stop. Yes, yes, whatever you say, Martha. Of course. And, Robert? Yes? Isn't Havana a beautiful city? Senor Sweet, amigo and senor the sailor, welcome, welcome. Alfredo Gomez bid you welcome to the Hotel Metropole Ritz. Alfredo Gomez says the place is yours, unequivocally, irrevocably, and without doubt. Hi. <laughs> the last time he gave me the place, sailor, he took it right away from me and threw me out. <laughs> That's the story of your life, isn't it? I do not wish to interrupt, but por favor, why have I given you the hotel? Is Sam Meston still registered here? Sam who? Sam Meston. Who, Meston? S-A-M, Sam. M-E-S-T-O-N, Meston. Let's see you get out of that. What are you both saying? Sam Meston. I want to see him. I want to know if he's registered here. Sam Meston. Sailor just spelled it for you. A joke? I'm supposed to say, ha-ha? Ha-ha. Alfredo, what's the matter with you? You know Sam as well as you know me and Sailor. Please. The moment in time has come when I must take back my hotel. I am busy. They're having a convention here. The Daughters of the Hacienda Rifle and Pistol Club. Pardon me for the rest of the week. Okay, Alfredo, if that's the way you want it. Come on, Sailor. I don't understand what's going on here, Slate. Something's scaring, Alfredo. Sam Meston, this is Alfredo. They were looking for you, Sam. Better go far, far away. Mind if I coin a phrase, Slate? Go ahead. Stun me with it. All right. Phrase. My feet are killing me. Why don't you go back to Shannon's place and wait for me? Uh uh I'm going to be brave. Just tell me how many more places are we going to have to look for Sam Meston? Consider it, sailor. Here's a man who's known all over Havana. And all of a sudden, people never heard of him or they don't know who he is. Funny, isn't it? I'm tingling from the strangeness of it all. Slate, when we get back, will you rub my feet? I'm going in here. Pool room? It hits you like that, huh? The middle of the night and you get a big yen to play nickel nine ball. The guy who runs the place is named Garson. He knows Meston. Whatever you say, Slate. Place is practically empty. That's Garson playing on the last table. You wait here. And do what? Your snooker's a little weak. Go practice. Garson. Huh? Oh, hello, Shannon. Didn't hear you come in. You seen Sam Meston? How would you play this shot? Ah. Uh. Here, here, and here. Uh-huh. <laughs> you like it? Ole. Gee, wow. Hey, you like it? Watch this one. Here, crowding sleep. Sam Meston. This is a toughie. Beautiful, huh? What's everybody so cagey for, Garson? You want to shoot pool? Grab yourself a table. Sixty cents an hour. 
Hey, look, Garson. You can't push the management around, Slate. Get out of here. Where's Meston? What happened to him? Okay, you're asking for help to get out, huh? Yeah, just that. You're asking for you. And you'll tell me. Tell me, Garson, and I'll make you fit into the rack. Tell me. Uh, uh, Paseo Lima, number 14, ground floor. Huh. Now, oh, there's one to try a man's metal. You like that shot, Garson? I have told you to. Sam is not here. I have not seen him since he went to the Estados Unidos many days ago. Look, Lola, maybe I didn't make it clear. Sam bought a guy to give me a postcard. It said he needed me. That's why I'm here, to help him. My husband, he needs no one. Maybe he doesn't at that slate. Look at the way Lola's dressed. From Paris, isn't it, Lola? Sailor's right, Lola. Sam must be doing good. Your clothes, that necklace, the new furniture. You notice it, Sailor? I've been rubbing my hands on it. Hmm, dusty. Now, if I had furniture like this, I'd Get really... out of here. I do not know what strange joke you are trying to play. But you have undoubtedly had your amusement. Now, get out. Go home. Now, why didn't we think of that, Slate? Home. Place to sleep. A place to wash out my nylons. Let's go, Slate. First, I want to leave my calling card. A guy asked for help. A guy I could live without. I grub all over Havana for him. People make jokes at me, try to slug me. And why don't you take the lady's advice, Shannon, and go home? Huh? Sam Meston. Greetings, Sam. The whole world's been telling me you were out. You should listen to what people tell you, Shannon. You learn things that way and you don't get hurt. I'll remember. Just for the record... Why'd you send me that postcard? You never got a postcard because I didn't send one. It'll have to be better than that, Shannon, if you want to cut in. Sam, please. Maybe it's What else not... could it be, Lola? You want a piece of what I got? You're here to put a finger on me and say, give us a piece. You'll never get it, Shannon. You can die at my feet and you'll never get it. Whatever it is, who wants it? Hey, what is this, a rest stop? It's the back door, Sam. I Entertain our guest, Lola. I'll get it myself. What do you want? Hey. Sam. Sam, who was it? You you wanted it, Shannon. Take it. The gun in the drawer. Take it. You get rich on it. Maybe you die on it. Adventure. Our stars Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, and the second act of our story. Mr. Shannon, he looked all over town, up and down street, then turn around. This fella he looked for, his name is Sam. Now, fella, he is Mr. Very Dead Sam. Slate. Yeah? You're sorry he's dead, aren't you? I never did anything to me. What are you going to do about it? I phoned LaSalle. He's going to meet me at police headquarters about noon. I'm going to turn over the gun and... A lady come in, she walked real slow. She wear black lace for a new widow. She has the look of... Yeah, I see her, King. Be careful, Slate. She lied to you once. Good morning, Senora. I want you to know how sorry we are. Send flowers. We're going to do that too, Senora. But right now, Slate's being a gentleman. Allow him the luxury. Bueno, console yourself that you have killed my husband. What are you talking about? The killers follow you all over Havana. You find Sam, the killers find Sam. I said I was sorry. Anything I can do... There is what to do. You took a gun from Sam. The gun he told you was in the drawer. Give it to me. 
I don't like the way she asks. Now look, Senora. Sam told me to take it. He must have had a reason for it. I'm going to find out what it is. Give it to me. Give me the gun. Now, I don't like the way you ask. Keep it, then. Be a fool and hug it to you. Sam said it, and I will say it. That gun will kill you. Robert, are you asleep? No, Marcia. You were restless all night. Once I thought you were sobbing. But you were only talking in your sleep, wasn't that it? We're done, aren't we, Marcia? Done with killing? We can go home now. No, Robert, we can't. Well, you killed him, killed Meston. That ends it, doesn't it? They have the gun, Robert. Mr. Shannon and Mr. Val. I was downstairs and I heard them talking about it. We'll have to get it somehow. Well, how will you do that? Oh, I have it all planned here in my head. You're not to give it a moment's thought. And no more killing. Swear it. Don't ask me that, because I can't. I'll tell you later what we must do. Kiss me, Robert. And do try to get some sleep. It's 11 o'clock, Slate. Don't you have to go to police headquarters and see LaSalle? I told you noon. You trying to get rid of me? I've got a reason. You don't want me to watch you bathe your feet in Epsom salts, huh? In bicarbonate. We're out of Epsom. Well, how come? You're supposed to take care of kitchen supplies. We're out of ketchup, too. Come in. Oh, if I'm disturbing you, just tell me to go. Not at all, Mrs. Palmer. I'm going to see the size of Havana. Well, have fun and don't... Don't take any wooden nickels? I know. We've got that one in Muncie, too. The young men use it. Oh, we've got... Handsome young man in Muncie. <laughs> or eventually there would be no Muncie. Oh. Is there something we can do for you, Mrs. Palmer? Yes. Yes, there is. Uh, Mr. Val, would you go with me? Me? Well, there's so many places I've missed. You know Havana so well. You could show them to me. Mr. Val would be delighted. Slate <laughs> my feet. Uh, you two girls just run along. Have a wonderful time. And sailor. What do you want? Don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> One more stop, dear. I promised these people I'd bring you by to meet them. See? Wasn't far, was it? Hey, this is Sam Meston's place. This is where he was... Exactly, my dear. Please knock on the door. I don't get it. What's the idea... Knock on the door, Mr. Val. Because, you see, I can't. Not with my purse in one hand and this gun in the other. Why, Grandma, what big eyes you have. Knock. Anything for the tourists. It's a motto with me. Come in, Mr. Val. Mr. Palmer. You better take care of your wife, Mr. Palmer. Havana's too much for her. Look, the sweet thing's pulled a gat on me. The other one. Is she here, Robert? In the next room. I tied her up, gagged her. We'll go to her. Yes, Martha. You can put that thing away now, Mrs. Palmer. It helped a lot. My feet don't hurt a bit anymore. I like you, Mr. Val. You have many qualities. Now we're chums again, huh? Pals, friends, buddies. Here she is, Martha. Lola. That's your name, isn't it? Lola, you understand what is about to happen to you, don't you? Pray, my dear. I give you that. See if she's dead, Robert. Yes, Martha. She's dead. Now, you too will understand me, Mr. Val. Sam Meston willed you and Mr. Shannon a gun. I want it. So Robert and I can live happily. You've got a gun. How many do you need to be happy? How many people dead? You will call Mr. Shannon on the phone. Tell him to bring the gun, nothing else. Tell him, if he doesn't, I'll kill you. <laughs> I don't understand, Senor Shannon. 
Why do you want me to return to you this gun you took from Sam Meston? What good is the gun to you? I'll tell you what good it is. Word gets around fast in Havana. And the current word is that I've got the gun. Someone's going to try to take it away from me. And you want to be the cuckoo? The pigeon. Hmm, it is a matter of opinion. Another thing. You told me you had a file on Sam Meston. See, si. Senor Meston, ever since he has been in Havana, had no means of support that were visible to the naked eye, which made us lift an eyebrow. Last year, we investigated him. What did you find out? He was a private investigator for the Acme Insurance Company of your country. His last known assignment was for a murder case in a town with an impossible name like uh, Doncy, Indiana. Muncie, Indiana. Muncie, Doncy. It is still impossible. But a murder case. The state of Indiana versus Robert Palmer. Robert Palmer? Please, you are taking the words out of my mouth. Hmm. What about Mrs. Palmer? Mrs. Palmer was murdered. Well, what do you know? Por favor. Now, what about the gun, LaSalle? You going to give it to me? Lend it to you. If you please, sign here. And leave a deposit. No, senor, not money. Your word. King. King, has Sailor come back yet? No, not yet, Mr. Sleep. Perhaps she stopped in place with the nice lady. Yeah, maybe we were wrong about the nice lady, King. Maybe I better go and find Sailor and take her away from the nice lady. Why? I don't think my girl ought to run around with murderers. She might get killed. Shannon's place, Slate Shannon's... Well, once don't talk back, Slate. That gun. Bring it to Sam Meston's. And no cops. Just you with a gun. Sailor. If you expect to find me alive, that is. That's what Mrs. Palmer says. And you know Mrs. Palmer. She's... Mr. Shannon? Yes, Mr. Shannon, open the door. I have a gun at Miss Duval's head, Mr. Shannon. So you'd better come in with your hands up. Are your hands up? They're up. Good. Open the door, Robert. Have they hurt you, sailor? She killed Mrs. Meston, right in front of me. That hurt. My dear, there was no other way. Was there, Robert? Let's do what we have to do, Martha. Take the gun away from him. You have the gun with you, Mr. Shannon? It's in my pocket. Robert, get it. I've got it. Is it loaded? It's empty, Martha. That's the gun you killed your first wife with, isn't it, Mr. Palmer? I didn't kill her. The dear little lady must have knocked her off, Slate. This gun is the thing that kept Sam Meston in the chips. He found the evidence that would hang you, and he kept it. Tell me something, Mr. Palmer. Do you love the present Mrs. Palmer? Martha, we have what we need. Let's go. Miss Duval asked you a question, Robert. Miss Duval asked you the question because we'd both like to know. How does it feel to love a woman who kills so easily? Don't be embarrassed, Robert. You can tell me. Robert's proud of his love for me. You just stand there and agree with everybody, Robert. But I'll tell you something. I admire you. I couldn't love a woman like Mrs. Palmer. Why not? A sweet lady like her. We all have our faults. Hers just happens to be killing people. <laughs> yeah, that's why. I'd be afraid of her. I'd be afraid she'd kill me. Shut up. I'll... I'll... Kill them, Martha? See how easy it is for her, Robert? Martha... Would you kill me? Oh, what's the matter with you? Now, now's a good chance to kill me, Martha. Kill me and blame it on these people here. Go ahead. Kill me. You can do it. Just pull the trigger. Oh, Robert. Robert, stay away from me. Robert. Robert, don't you see what they've done? Don't walk toward me. Stay away. Get her. Get her. Robert. You fool. Out of my way. Drop that gun. Drop it. I'll kill you. Kill you. Oh, oh. Oh. I take it all back, Robert. You're a brave man. Uh, I'm a murderer. As evil as she is. But it's over now. Yeah, it's over. Sailor. Uh-huh? You're clever with a dial phone. Dial 111, the police. Tell them to get here.
Oh. <laughs> Finally made it, huh, sailor? Oh, there's nothing like a foot bath. If anyone asks me to take another step... Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's why I'm not going to ask you to do it. Do what? There's a dance tonight at the Plaza Royale. I've got two passes. Well, I guess I'll have to stagger. Hey, wait. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll probably meet somebody. Slate, you're not going without me. I can dance. Look. One, two, three, kick. A one, two, three, kick. One, two. <laughs> You'll be a sensation. Let's go dancing, sailor. And so our two stars, Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall, have brought to a close our latest Bold Venture story. Special music was composed and conducted by David Rose. May we invite you to listen again next week at this time for another exciting adventure starring Humphrey Bogart and Lauren Bacall together in Bold Venture. Bold Venture.